All right, so we are back with anatomical planes. Anatomical planes is pretty self-explanatory when you read the textbook, but I thought I would do a short demo. Okay. First thing first, why are we learning anatomical planes? We are learning the anatomical planes because I know everything is online format right now and everything is two-dimensional, but in reality, you are going to have to deal with three-dimensional objects. You're not just going to look at an image. You're going to look at an object. And what you look, when you look at something, what is on the surface, the superficial aspect, may be different from what's inside. Imagine, think of an apple. You know, bananas are different. What you see on the surface, basically inside is the same. Think of an apple. You don't see the seed of the apple on the surface now, don't, do we? You have to cut a section. You have to cut the apple in half in order to see the seeds of the apple. If you cut the apple, not exactly in half, but only on one corner, you are not going to be able to see the seeds either. So let's see, you know, I draw this apple here. If I cut an apple like this and make two, segments, I'm not going to be able to see the seed. In order to, for me to see the seeds, I have to cut the apple exactly in half. Okay. So what I create after cutting an apple, each part is a section. So similarly, anatomical plane divides the human body into different sections. And these sections will display the front of an organ, sometimes back of an organs, sometimes the top of an organ, sometimes the underside of an organ. Not all organs that are present within the torso will be visible in all sections. And we are going to have to, or rather you are going to have to look at, oftentimes we're going to look at the interior of the body not just the exterior. You definitely are going to have to look at interior of the body. So this is why we learn anatomical planes so, so that when you look at a section, it doesn't look so odd. You won't think, what am I looking at? Learn the planes, you'll know what you are looking at. So anatomical planes are imaginary planes, imaginary cuts that are dividing the human body into sections. So anatomical planes divide up the human body or any body for that reason. It could be animal too, but we are studying human anatomy here into sections. Okay. There are three major planes and there's a fourth one. These three major planes are coronal, also known as frontal. I prefer coronal. Sagittal, which is parasagittal. And mid-sagittal, so there could be two types of sagittal, then transverse, a fourth one is oblique, I couldn't find an image for the oblique. So coronal, sagittal, transverse, and the fourth one is oblique. Oblique is not as important because uh, it's unlikely that, especially when you're looking at organ, other than certain organ, like the stomach, you won't really see very many oblique sections, but we'll learn it anyway. So coronal or frontal plane. Basically coronal or frontal plane is one that divides the human body into a front and a back section. What's in purple color here? Basically, this is a front. 
this is a front and a back. So coronal plane divides the human body into two sections, the front and the back. You can also say an anterior plus a posterior section, that is coronal plane. What is a sagittal plane? A sagittal plane is one that divides the human body into a left and a right section. Left and right sections. That's what sagittal plane does. So if the sagittal plane divides the human body in a left into a left and a right section, which are unequal. If it's unequal, perhaps, I apologize for my dog, then this is a para sagittal. If the two sections are basically equal halves, at least from surface, then you say it's a mid sagittal plane. What they're showing here is a mid sagittal plane, basically something that's dividing the human body into a left and a right section. Then the transverse. Transverse plane. So here it is, sagittal. A transverse plane is one that divides the human body into a superior or a top and a bottom plus an inferior section. So top and bottom sections, superior and inferior sections. That's what transverse plane does. So when you look at the transverse plane right here, superior portion and inferior portion. And it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. A transverse plane could be cut here. Then this becomes the superior and this rest of this becomes the inferior. So these are the three major planes, coronal, sagittal, and transverse. What is an oblique plane? An oblique plane is basically like a transverse, except that it's tilted. It's not a straight plane, it's a tilted plane. So it's like a variety of transverse. Instead of this, if I drew it like this, this is the plane along which the superior and inferior sections are cut, tilted, then this would be your oblique plane. Okay, so here you can take a look at which plane are we referred to. This is corona, this is mid sagittal. Remember, there is a parasagittal as well. And this is transverse. If it was tilted, you'll call it oblique. These are the anatomical planes.